Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we're gonna be going over all the bosses. I want to all the bosses in 6.3. Um, in the last video, I said 6.2 or 6.4 are the hardest bosses. Um, looking at that now, I, I think I just completely forgot 6.3 existed. Um, 6.4 definitely does not have the hardest bosses. 6.2 probably is the most bullshit bosses, but I think with 6.3, almost every boss has their own set of difficulties. You have to actually, yeah, every boss has their own set of difficulties they have to overcome. This first boss is, I think, is a, is a 10 or 15 percent buffet Medusa with um, uh, do you bleed? And like the last boss, the champion 6.2, the first boss of 6.3, um, best counter is also Symbia Supreme. Uh, for two reasons one, he bleeds like crazy, and two, his bleeds with despair basically shut off, um. Um, what's it called? Buffet. And also, I guess, because he's, um, buff killer, he is good for Medusa, because she doesn't get as many Furies as she might with someone else. Um, so yeah, also, this note, I think, does have bleed of vulnerability, if you're wondering why my bleeds are hitting so hard. Right here, we get smacked in the face, not a fun time at all. But... Um, I'm pretty sure we still recover this fight. I mean, I, I guess if we didn't, um, this wouldn't be in the video. <laughs> Um, yeah, so this is a Do You Bleed Buffet Medusa with bleed vulnerability, so your bleeds will hit, like, a lot harder. Um, Symbia Supreme and Nick Fury, I believe, are the best, too. I'm trying to think who else bleeds like crazy. Any, like, very big bleed characters is going to be good for this. Um, I think Warlock's also really good for this if you just spam heavy. I think I saw Seen do that. Um, so yeah, um, anyone with extremely strong bleed, um, and then it can easily doubt, and not easily, but can out damage, um, the buffet node, the massive buffet node, um, that's a good combo, so, yeah, that's pretty much all, um, this node also has, I forgot what it's called, but it's if they have, if you hit into their block, it gives them an armor up, and if they get five, you die, or you take a big shit amount of damage. So I forgot what it's called. But you can see that node there. Also, it has Counter Strike, which I just realized, which is if you dex 10 times, um, it puts unblockable on them for like a good 20 seconds. Um, luckily for us, Medusa specials aren't that hard to dodge. So if they're unblockable, it's whatever. But you can see right now she's fully unblockable. And then right here, um, I put on some Furies. Bait out of heavy, and then sh that's pretty much it. She's dead. So, yeah, that's the first boss down. Next, we get the second boss. I had to speed this up because um, this is a long ass fight. Um, you know what? I'm actually probably going to speed it up even more. Um, never mind. I guess when I'm recording, my audio won't let me. So, that's tragic. But basically, this is a big ass Nick Fury who's completely debuff immune. And every time he, he gets a debuff that he's immune to, which is every debuff, basically, he, um, what's it called? Um, he gets, like, a bar, or gets, like, a third of a bar power or something like that. So, I think, what, I could be wrong, but I feel like one of the only counters I've seen to this guy, like, an actual one-shot, is Sunspot. I mean, you can see what I'm doing. I'm just pushing him to special two, to special two, to special two. Because everyone in Sunspots hits gives a, um, what, gives a incinerate, it's going to give him power, so you can basically never have to worry about a special one. So yeah, this fight is long as shit, it's extremely sped up right now, and it's still like a good, even while sped up, it's still three minutes, so like normal time, I think this was like an eight to ten minute fight, it was, it's definitely a long fight. Um, and I'm boosting in this clip, I'm pretty sure, on the beta server. So, I don't... Listen, there could be other counters. I'm trying to think. Um, White Magni does new synergy. Let's you get passive stuns. So, I'm trying to think, what would that be good for? You could use passive stuns with White Magneto if you're using a mutant. And then... Maybe, I don't know, I'm trying to think who would benefit. I mean, even they could stun him. Would that really even matter? 
Like, maybe, like, a character like Magneto, but, you know, he's bleed and armor break immune, so, I mean, I think Magneto would be cool here, but, I don't know, I really don't know. You could do some cool stuff with the white Magneto synergy, but I really don't know. I'm thinking Sunspot, oh, I'm not thinking, I know Sunspot's probably the best counter for this guy, because he can one-shot the fight. I don't know if really anyone else can one-shot it, just, but if you don't have a Sunspot, I mean, I didn't have a Sunspot when I first did completion. So I kind of just used strong characters and just, I think what I did actually I think about it is I think I just used Corvus and just revived, um, you could use Omega and revive and just play close, I don't know, I really don't know who the best option is for this fight if you don't have Sunspot, just try to, if you don't have Sunspot, I don't really think, I don't, I could be wrong once again, but I don't think anyone else can one-shot this fight, um, Quake, actually now that I think about it might be able to, but then again, actually, her stuns would give him power, because he's, um, immune to everything, I don't know if her concussions would be, um, giving him power too, yeah, I don't know if Quake would work for this fight, I really don't know, but yeah, that's the end of this fight, it's a long ass fight, um, just use hard hitters if you don't have some spot, and just try to do as much damage as you can, um, so yeah, now we go on to this Havoc, he has crumbling armor, more power gain, and I think, I forgot what it's, aspect of evolution, I think, every time he passes a bar of power, he gains more power and shit, and you're seeing me use, um, ghost, and you're like, wait, ghost? Um, yeah, ghost actually is fine for this fight, I tested it once because I was curious, and, you know, you're wondering, but won't you die from the plasma detonations? This fight, the earlier in the fight, the harder... But once it gets deeper and his power gain gets super strong, it's really easy. Because what you basically do is you have to have full ghost energies. And basically, as you might see me do here, yeah, you just push him to special three. And when he throws the special three... Okay, wait, wait, actually, I fucked that. I'm surprised I did that. Um, sorry, someone's comment in Discord. Um, when you throw the special three, he gets rid of all of his plasmas on you and um, on him. So you can just reset the fight. You'll probably see it again. I'm really surprised I let him detonate on me in this recording. I mean, I don't really remember this because I recorded this a while ago. But that did not go according to plan. You should just get him to a special three and then bait it out and tank it with the phasing. Instead of detonating it on yourself. I don't know why I did that, really. But, I mean, I still got the one shot regardless. It also has crumbling armor, but one thing to remember is... Um, with Ghost, you just have to hit him one time to get rid of the armor break, so you'll be fine. This fight is just a lot about baiting heavies. Don't let him throw a special one. That's the main thing with this fight, is you gotta hold block so he doesn't throw the special one. Because if he throws the special one, then you're kind of screwed. So right here, he gets to another special three. And he throws it. And I tank it, and we're all good. He gets rid of all of his things, so we're pretty much all set. We have, we're at a special three. Or special two. Um, we throw it. Um, and then he's going to throw his special two. And then I'm probably going to throw my special one. That's what I'm predicting. Yep. And yeah, this fight's over. It's actually a pretty easy fight. Just use someone who's immune to Havoc. But I think Ghost, honestly, is the best option if you have Hood. Next, we got Iron Man Infinity War. Um, I had to speed up this fight, too, because it was long as shit. I honestly don't really know who the best counter is for this fight. I've used Captain America Infinity War, and I've one shot him plenty of times with this guy. But he's definitely not one of the fastest options, but he definitely works. You just gotta know how to re-parry. Um, basically, he's immune to armor break, so Corvus isn't, like, that good for him. Um, I mean, you can still chunk him down with Corvus, but he's immune to armor break. We get hit there, kind of like Scrubs, but um, he also has arc overload. And you'd think you could reverse it, but no, that's even more annoying, too. They added a node that is, um... What? Um... If the defender's healings would be reversed, it would only be blocked instead. So you can't reverse his healing, which is kind of annoying. And then even on top of it, to make it even more annoying, this boss is annoying because he drains your power every 20 seconds. So, I mean, it's hard to use characters like Corvus because it's hard to get to the special too, especially with all of his specials he's throwing. And I think, I don't I could be wrong. Did he have Spite? I don't think he has Spite. Um, but I could be wrong. I, I can't really remember. I see a power gain buff next to him, and I don't really know what that is, because I haven't done this fight in a while, but 
I don't believe there's spite actually on this node. I don't, I don't think um I don't think he has spite, but he does have improved power gain. I think that's what it is. So like when he um in his final phase gets the armor up, so you'll see his power is definitely crazy. You have to bait a lot of specials. Um. Right now, this is a well. This is almost a four minute fight. A little bit less than four minutes, and it's on a hundred seventy five percent speed. So you can imagine this is also a long ass fight, like the um, Nick Fury. 6.3 definitely has the hardest bosses. It's the only chapter that there's pretty much like no easy boss. Like every boss needs a specific counter. There's no boss that you can just like. Like there's a lot of bosses in that in 6.4 and 6.1, and even a few in 6.2 where there's like not really a specific counter you could use really anyone, but 6.3. All six bosses have their own um, challenges that you're going to need to overtake with your roster. Um, this video is about, what, like 17 minutes long, and I, and I had to speed up three of the boss fights. So I think in real time, this was like a 25-minute, 30-minute video originally, because these bosses are no joke, and you, you can see now, he's in his phase, and I have to bait like three specials in a row before I can even like hit him. Like, look at this. He just spammed those special ones. It's really not fun, <laughs> if you're wondering. Also, from Arc Overload, he's getting even more um, power and regeneration. It's just a lot. Um, I just found using Captain America Infinity War is probably the best because he um, puts on the Petrifies to stop the healing and the power gain. He doesn't fully stop the power gain because it's extremely strong, but he definitely slows it down. And, yeah, um, this fight is just long as shit. So, yeah, right here, I'm pretty sure he's about to die. Um, so, he's at, what, 2%? He's dead. Okay. This next fight has Matador. Um, I forgot what the note is, but you can't use the same attack twice, so you're going to miss. So, you have to, like, heavy, or not heavy, like, medium, light, medium. And um, some improved power gain. And that's good, because what you want to do, this is a rank 2 max boosted 6-star Corvus. Um... This fight is not, a, this is a, this is probably the hardest boss, um, but Matador definitely works in your favor since he has crazy power gain, he, you can basically just get yourself to a shit ton of special twos, but he also, you have to remember, has, um, two things you gotta remember, one, he's armor break immune, so he can build up his chemical gas, and if you let it get to three for too long, then he'll put a poison on you, and you will die from that, basically, unless you're poison immune. But then you also have to remember, it's Mysterio, and Mysterio has annoying-ass specials. Both of his specials are problematic, in my opinion. Special 1's annoying, because it backs you up against the wall, and then you can't hit him, so you gotta wait, so you get cornered pretty easily. And then his special 2 is also a problem for this fight, because it puts a power drain on you. It, it, it's just not a fun time. I really hate this boss. And you can only, and you can't um like you can't use five hit combos because then he'll just um make he'll just um what you'll miss your hit. And it's just really this fight is definitely extreme. Um, this was the keep in mind this is a max boosted rank two, um six star Corvus. I don't believe I have max charges. I think I have two or three. I can't really see the recording is very blurry, but I think I only have two. So if I had four, this would be better. But I can't really tell. It's blurry. I have two or three. I know that. But, um, look, right here, he got three chemical gas. Look how close he was to killing me with that poison. That poison meter thing was almost there. And look, I got the, um, falter on me because I blocked two hits in a row. So, yeah, this fight is just very hard. Um, if I didn't have Corvus, this would be a lot. So, yeah. That fight, I recommend just bringing a super hard hitter or Quake. I think Quake can work, actually. I'm surprised I didn't use Quake for that fight, now that looking back at it. But yeah, Quake can work. Um, the fight's just hard, because it's a very big Mysterio. And Mysterio has hard specials, and he has hard nodes. So yeah, good luck in that fight. And now this fight, this fight probably, um, like mechanically, is the easiest fight of the six. But it is very niche, and it's very glitched also. I don't know why they haven't fixed this yet, it's really annoying. But basically... It's a big Captain America Infinity War with destructive feedback, the node you all remember. But it also has, like, where it'll use special one, special two, then special three. So you're gonna have to tank a special three in this fight, whether you want it or not, unless you have like, a power gain character. Um, I use Ghost, 
for my first run, I didn't have go. I just so I had used Corvus, and I just had to tank specials. It's really annoying. Also, it's really annoying because destructive feedback doesn't even work in this node. The damage back will go to you. Yes, that part of destructive feedback works, but um, at the end of it, when it's supposed to reflect it onto them, it doesn't work. So it's literally just a wasted time. You literally just can't do any damage in that time. It's really annoying. This fight is just bad. Um, you might have seen some gameplay. I think the best character for this fight is actually Ronin. Um, because he generates a shit ton of furies and you can just infinitely stun lock this dude with special ones. But I don't have a high ranked Ronin and I mean if you have Ronin this this guy is the easiest cheese in the world, but um if if you don't have a five star Ronin or six star Ronin like me, then you just gotta use different options like Ghost and Corvus. And he literally only takes damage from crit, so that's annoying enough as is. Destructive feedback doesn't work. That's also annoying. And on top of it all, it's Captain America Infinity War. So he's, um, he glances a lot of crits too. It, it, this fight is not hard, but it's just annoying as shit, dude. Like, it's just, eh, it's kind of just bad design. They should, they should definitely fix destructive feedback so the damage reflect actually works. Um... Because, yeah, I really don't know why it doesn't work. Right here, I push myself to a special three, so I'm kind of annoyed because I can't do damage. It's just annoying. So I think I just opt to go for one-hit combos until he's dead. But, yeah, this fight is just not fun, per se. You just need a character who can crit or Ronin, basically. Um, yeah, 6.3 definitely, I will say, out of all the chapters, definitely has the most pain-in-the-ass bosses. They're not as bullshit, though. Like, the Nick Fury and the um, Mysterio, they're both extremely hard, but it's not like the Mr. Sinister boss in 6.2 where you need a Shock Immune, Poison Immune, a Fury, and then you need someone who doesn't do a lot of crits because it's Mr. Sinister. It, so, it's definitely not as bullshit, but it's not as fun. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, those are all the bosses down, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.